This workout is called Dean Martin. If there's something that's going to make you want to work out, it's going to be Dean Martin. Warm up is going to be three rounds. You got 20 squats and 20 single leg deadlifts. I'm making this one real simple for you. So get those heels about shoulder width apart or a little wider. Toes can be slightly pointed outward. And then we're going down for a full depth squat. Then, after you do 20 squats, you got those single leg deadlifts. Remember, I want to get that, I want that back leg actually, the one that kicks back. I'd like you to engage that by lifting it up. So don't just lift it off the ground and let it sit there. Try to engage that glute on the way back as well. So you're kind of getting a double glute workout there. One for whenever you stand up from the deadlift, the other one from when you kick back in the air. It'll be 10 on each side, alternate as desired, 20 total, do that in three rounds. Dean Martin has eight rounds, so you're going to want to set up on your clock eight rounds of two minutes of work and one minute of rest. The first three rounds are going to be uh, 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 all, like work, two minute on, one minute off. The middle two rounds, rounds four and five, are nothing. It's all rest, so you get a lot of rest in this workout. And then the last three rounds is going to be two minutes on and one minute off again. So for rounds one through three, you start off that two minutes of work. Basically, your buy-in is squats. So you have ten prisoner squats with your goblet or just goblet squats. Regardless of if you're doing RX or RX+, plus, then uh, you, you're going to have the same weight Whatever you have for that kettlebell is what is ideal for this workout. But basically, you're gonna take your giant kettlebell and you're gonna hold it in this front rack position. And for the goblet squats, obviously you're just holding this here and going into your full depth squat as well as standing all the way. For the prisoner squat, you still have the goblet, but you're gonna break parallel down, break parallel up, break down again, and then stand. So it's gonna be that one and a half squat we do whenever we do normal prisoner squats. The only variation here is instead of having your hands behind your head, you have a goblet in front of your neck. All right, so hang tight on those. They will get taxing. You only have 10, but right after you finish that, you're going for as many reps as possible. You're doing a max set of box jumps. Now what we have for those box jumps is we've written 24 and 16. That's more relative for those of you at home because you're either going to go, the guys are going to the third step of the staircase or the second step for the ladies. Now, if you have a box or something, try to get as close to 24 or 16 inches as you can, but these are going to be box jumps to rounds one through three. All right, so that means you have to jump up, land with two feet and stand up all the way. You can step down and go right into it. Okay, now that's rounds one through three. You've got to do the box jump. Once that two minutes is up, you've got two minutes of work, one minute of rest. Once that two minutes is up, you have one minute of rest, so you're going to write down your reps. Then in round two, do the same thing. Round three, do the same thing. Then four and five is just rest. So be thankful, because it's like seven full minutes of rest at that point. Then you're going to start up round six, same thing, 10 reps. RX Plus is doing the prisoner goblet squats, and RX is doing goblet squats, same weight. So it's just your buy-in. And then you have a max set of step ups. So on this one, uh, you know, preferably you alternate. We're not uh, specifying that you do that. So for those of you that really think, man, my right leg is the one where it's at, then you can just right leg the whole way. I do not recommend that. Uh, alternate these step ups if you can, obviously. But you want to just, you're going to 24 inches for guys, 16 for ladies still. It's just you go from box jumps to step ups on this, these last three rounds. All right, so open up all the way, step down, open up all the way to the top, step down, and that's it. Write down reps for every round. You I think you're gonna record two separate numbers, one for rounds one through three, and one for rounds six through eight. Either way, you'll have all your numbers in front of you to put in uh, one file. All right, good luck with that one.